What's up y'all, B-Dub the Anime Master is back for another anime industry discussion video. Today, Aniplex of America. I give up. Intro start. B-Dub the Anime Master. B-Dub the Anime Master. B-Dub the Anime Master. B-Dub the Anime Master. Dragon Ball Z the Anime Master. Here we go, the Anime Master. Yes, I finally admit defeat. Aniplex of America wins. And here's what I mean. You know, a lot of us anime fans have been bitching about Aniplex of America's prices for quite some time since they came into the anime industry as far as the R1 home video DVD Blu-ray market. Their prices are ridiculous. And most average anime fans can't really afford their DVDs and Blu-rays. Hardcore anime collectors can, and that's pretty much cool, and that's pretty much Aniplex of America's market, and I totally understand and get that. But, you know, I'm for every fan, and I want every fan to have the ability to afford a anime show they want to own on DVD or Blu-ray in a physical copy. And Aniplex doesn't really give you that option, like, at least 80% of the time, at least if you're not, like, an anime fan that has a lot of money. And, you know, everybody's circumstance is different. That's why I say I'm for every fan, not just the hardcore collectors when it comes to collecting anime and DVDs. I want everybody to be able to have that, you know, I guess you can say that choice. And Aniplex doesn't really give you that choice. But over the years, you know, I, I do have some Aniplex of America titles in my collection. I have the Veroni Kenshin uh, Trust and Betrayal Blu-ray. Uh, Monica Magica Volume 1 Limited Edition, and I believe I have uh, the Bacano Blu-ray Limited Edition they put out years ago, back in like 2011. And uh, I believe that's all the Aniplex of America titles I have in my collection currently. So it's not like I'm a... Uh, see, the thing is, I don't want to be a hypocrite about this whole situation, because I do have some Aniplex stuff in my collection. But like I said, I'm for the every fan. But at this point, you know, like with the recent Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood uh, price, uh, you know, announcement or whatever, it's kind of like, well, you know what? Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Aniplex has its business. It has its market. It has its fans that buy that uh, expensive shit. And I'm going to be one of them, to be honest. It's like, you know, if you can't beat them, join them, right? Because I do have some interest in buying some Aniplex stuff. Like I do want to buy Erased on Blu-ray, even though it's like 80 fucking dollars for six fucking episodes per DVD Blu-ray. Uh, I do want to buy Erased, uh, and I do want to buy the Gurren Lagann uh, Blu-ray box set that they have, and I do want to buy do -da 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 -da, uh, Season 1 and Season 2, which is going to be extremely fucking expensive, because I got to buy that fucking uh, first season box set, that's like 130 I think, and then the Season 2 uh, Blu-rays. I think it's like five of them or something. I don't know. I'll look, at, look it up later. But... I do want to buy some Aniplex anime, and if their prices are, are high, then fuck it, you know. That Full Monogamous Brotherhood price rant is the last rant you're going to hear from me for Aniplex of America. It's the final rant. It, 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 to me, it's like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to change. They're never going to, you know, try to appease to the every fan. They want to appease to the hardcore collectors, and I get that. You know, and I always got that. But like I said, I, I like to fight for you guys and talk shit because number one, it's fun. But at the same time, it's a lot of us fans are just speaking truth. Like we're not Japan. We can't pay Japan prices sometimes because, you know, people got things to do, bills and etc. But like I said, if you save your money, you might be able to get it if you really want it. If you're if you're a hardcore fan of the show, I look at it. I, you know what? I look at it like this. If you're a hardcore fan of like Erased or Kill I Kill or Girl Log On, and you gotta buy those expensive Blu-rays, save your money and get them. If you're a hardcore fan of that show, if you're a casual anime fan that casually buys anime DVDs and Blu-rays, don't fuck with Aniplex because you're gonna spend a shit ton of money on half of a show, you know? But like I said, I give up. I'm gonna be buying some Aniplex anime. You're not gonna hear me bitch about them ever again. You still will hear me joke about it. I'm still gonna joke about it because it'd be hilarious when sometimes when they announce prices for their products. It's fucking hilarious. So you're still gonna get those jokes, but I'm not gonna make rant videos anymore. It's just redundant at this point, you know? Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you give a shit about Aniplex of America's prices now or do you still want to fight the good fight? Let me know in the comment section below. 
I'm B Dub, the Anime Master. Give this video a like and give a like to my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. Links are in the description. Stay tuned for more anime, manga, and video game related videos, everybody. Peace. Dragon Ball Z, the anime master. Here we go, the anime master.